Hi guys, this is Sanat Srivastav, the Growth Marketing Manager at Maya Operator. In this video, I will show you how you can create WhatsApp campaigns using the Maya Operator WhatsApp Business Platform. So in order to create new WhatsApp campaign uh, on your Maya Operator WhatsApp Business Platform, you need to go to the Manage tab and under Functionality, you need to go to WhatsApp. On the left, you see campaigns option. Click over here. Now on this screen, first of all, you need to check your credit balance. You need to have enough credit balance to send messages. As you might know, WhatsApp business API charges you a particular sum for each conversation or different types, utility, service or marketing messages. You need to have enough credit balance so that when you run a campaign to, to say a thousand numbers, you have enough balance to send messages the existing campaigns that you have ran already will be visible here because you can add multiple accounts to my operator panel you can select whichever phone number is associated with your uh, existing campaigns or the right ones and for example on this number we have already run a campaign that we can see over here we can see how many messages were sent how many were read replied all of that you can see the sent numbers delivered percentages failed percentages you can also see the template preview the message that was sent and the approximate cost that it costed you to send that message right you can see the date of course and the scheduling date of this message as well this case you can also see created by user's name so if you have multiple users on your whatsapp business platform uh, multiple agents added then you can also see which agent created a particular campaign and sent it you can export this history if you want in our case, we'll create a new campaign by clicking on create campaign. We'll write the message, say renewal campaign, and we can select the number through which we want to send the message. Now we click on create. And first of all, we have to select whatever template we want to send. These are pre-approved message templates. If you want to create new templates, you can click on this button create over here so that you go to the page where you create a new WhatsApp template. This video on top, you will see option to see the video around how to create new WhatsApp templates. For us, we will select utility over here because this is going to be a utility message. Utility messages are those where we are already sending it to say an existing customer, reminding them of something or giving them information about their account. Because it was a renewal campaign, you send the renewal details. Now here, this template has one variable. This is the template preview that you can see. So I click on next now. And now I have to upload this. I have a message limit of 1000 messages. So whatever contact list I upload has to be less than or equal to 1000 numbers. I can also download the table examples from here in CSV or XLS and use that example to create my own template. To upload a file which I have already created. And once I add it, I click on next and my file will be uploaded. Once that is done, I'll be taken to this final screen where I have to select the variables. Now, because I had a variable in my body, which is visible over here, hello name. So I have to select the Excel sheet column, which corresponds to that name. And in case there are no names over there, I can write user and hello user will be sent to people. This is a fallback value. I click on next and I am on the schedule campaign screen. I can see that my audience size fetched from my contact list that I uploaded is three. That means I have three people in that contact list. This is the approximate cost that I will incur in order to send this campaign message. Now I can either schedule it for an upcoming date or time, or I can also send a test message to say my own number and see if I'm able to get the right message or not. Now if I don't want to do either of that, I will just click on schedule now and this will be sent in the next minute so in this case we wanted to send a message through this number this has been scheduled this will be sent on the next minute currently it is 201 pm to be sent at 202 pm once this is being sent you'll be able to see the reports of this message by clicking on this button over here so because it is 202 already while i make this video you can see this status it has failed it did not reach the numbers mentioned over here it could be for whatever reason it could be that these numbers are not approachable right now it would be that meta has not allowed messaging on these numbers meta does that at times to control the number of messages a user is getting but you can see that this campaign particularly failed you can create a different campaign with different numbers of course and that will go you can also see the failed percentage so that you can resend messages to those particular users this is all this is how you create and send whatsapp campaigns to your user you can use it to send offers and discounts to your customers and leads this device you can use it for any other purposes. 
For any support, you can click over here to open the chat section and talk to our support team.